So we're in uh, trench number 20, 22, and we're just to the east of the farmhouse. And we found a whole load of clay rubble in this trench. We thought we might have the remains of a building. We put this little trench across, uh, but the clay rubble turns out to be the remains of a demolished building. Um, we're getting bits of red sandstone. So they're reusing uh, medieval material in this building, but we haven't found any walls. So we've done a slot through the middle of that. Um, we've come down onto what looks like an old ground surface, although we've only just started excavating it. Um, and Ross has just found um, a whole load of medieval pottery just in a, uh, in, in a corner just over there. So, and it looks like it all refits to, to one, one place, uh, to one piece. So um, yeah, so we're getting down into some slightly earlier layers in this trench. So we, we, we'll hopefully see what we get in the next couple of days. Okay, so this is uh, test pit 20 and this was just supposed to be a one by one test pit, but it's obviously turned out to be a lot more complicated because we've come down to this massive great big wall. It's about a meter wide. Um, it's certainly getting on for uh, 75 centimeters deep really big stone wall that carries on at right angles to the earlier walls we found over there in trench 19. So we've been digging down the sides of this just to try and see the depth um, and the character and see if we can find the uh, floor surfaces. It's, well, I thought it might be a boundary wall, but it's clearly part of a bit much bigger building. So we don't know at the moment, no, which is the inside and the outside. So we're digging down either side to see if we can uh, explore more about this, uh, understand more about this wall. So this is trench 23 and we are trying to investigate the edge of this terrace. We've got a level platform on the inside and we had some bits of walling showing through the topsoil. So we've put a small trench across here. We've come down to a couple of substantial walls, um, a bit of blocking and we've started to find the remains of some, some, some sort of channel over there. So lots of structural archaeology in our platform. So it's probably part of the earlier farmstead extending to this southern sort of part of the mound. So we'll be digging down a bit further in this, uh, this uh, little mini section in the middle just to see if we can uh, establish what these buildings are built on top of.